I got here, a 2010 Chevy Impala. Um, customer complaint is no crank, no start. I think he was, said he was driving down the highway and stopped working. He stalled, but it wouldn't restart since then. So they were testing the ignition switch over here. That's why all the bezel's off. I gotta fit in here. But I think the ignition switch goes straight to the BCM. So, right. key unlocks. Let's make this go. All right. Let's see. Crank and the screen just goes dead, but nothing happens. But it definitely works. The just turns on. All right, they think it's a computer because I think there's no communication or they have a code. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, sorry. It's an 11 Impala. That means it could read somehow. It could read something. Probably it could read the computer if it pulled that information. We have a dual zone. All right, smart detection. All right, we have no comment with the ECM. So it must be pulling the data from the TCM. All right, but we could communicate with the BCM. Oh, we, we need a battery. We need a charger on this. We have nine volts. All right, let me get a battery charger hooked up. All right, I hooked up my battery charger, battery maintainer over here. It's raining outside, so I don't really want it to get too wet. So I'm just gonna cover this good enough. It's under the hood. Hopefully that'll be good enough for now. All right, so I have a charging. Now, let's see. Let's first try to crank it again. Okay, let's see. Did we finish the scan? Yes. So, make a report. All right, we got from the TCM, lowest common with ECM. Heating ventilation, body control module, theft deterrent module, can't read it because there's no comp to the, okay, the ECM, the brake control module, brake control module also lost comp with ECM. So, all right, we gotta chase while we have no communication to the computer. All right, so let's go back. Now, I'm gonna pull up a diagram. I actually first wanna check from here, I wanna check if the network's good. So I'm gonna own the network out. I wanna see if I have 60 gnomes. I wanna get a computer with a diagram. All right, the rain's coming down pretty hard. So, try to work what we could in the car first. I'm gonna plug in a breakout box over here. All right. Now, with the key off, the reason why I have 13.6 is because of my charger. I'm gonna get a multimeter. I'm gonna go across the DLC six and thirteen, six and fourteen, on the data link connector. Now, if everything's sleeping and everything's good, all the wiring's intact, I should have sixty ohms, or close enough, and I do. So that means wire integrity is good because there's two 120 ohm resistors, one in the ECM and I think one in the brake control module, and it's just reading across them. So two 120 ohms together equals sixty. So, okay, wire integrity, I'm assuming on the cam lines is good. And it means the thing itself is good. Now, either I could scope the network and see if there's some, there's probably not any garbage on the network because if there was garbage on the network, I would assume other things wouldn't communicate. And I have communication to the other stuff, or at least two of the other stuff. I didn't check everything yet. So I'm gonna go by, look at a diagram for the fuses. And I'm gonna check power and ground. And there's also a wake up signal on this that people sometimes forget. Besides power and ground, there's also a wake-up signal from the BCM telling it to communicate. All right, so let me get a diagram pulled up here. All right, I'm gonna pull up a diagram here. So we're gonna go to the high speed. Fleet loads, okay, so. Let's see, we got here the data link connector, pin six and 14, that's where I was checking the ohms. So it comes down here and it branches off. It goes to the body control module and it also goes to this module, vehicle communication interface, if it has it. I don't have to look at the RPO code to see if it has VEI or not. So the data link resistor is just separate. I thought it was in the in the EBCM, but it's not. Okay, fine. So it goes through here, either it cuts that off or it goes to that module and this goes to the BCM. The BCM goes to the electronic brake control module, then goes to the transmission and then goes to the ECM. So we have definitely have communication to the transmission. 
I, I can't redo this because I'm not plugged in, but definitely for, from the transmission and I see from the electronic brake control module and the BCM. So it has all these. Now it might not have vehicle communication. Let's exit. All right, too bad. Um, I'll, I'll check that in a minute. So we know that it's most likely not a real network issue. It's probably either we're missing ignition power or something wrong to the ECM or just a bad ECM. So let me pull up another diagram for the power and grounds to this. I think they have here one diagram that's just all the power and grounds. ECM power grounds and serial data, perfect. Okay, so here we have an ignition power, a B plus, an ignition, another ignition, which comes from data communication. Oh, that's just, uh, okay, fine. That's something else. That is a wake-up signal for the communication. Okay, then we have another power coming from, no, sorry, this is a switch ground. The instrument panel gives uh, ignition, gives the power to the check engine light, and this grounds it. Okay, so let's check these fuses first. This ECM-TCM fuse and the ECM ignition fuse. These are all under the hood. Uh, let's help. Yeah, that might even look like it slowed down. So let's see, are these hot at all times? All right, this one is going to be with the key on. So let's put the key on because it'll make life easier. All right, it's still raining. So here we got the fuse box. Test the test. Connect the test light to battery ground. If it hits a power, it shall light up. And it does, okay, good. So let's first see, we need ECM ignition. All right, first we'll check this one, the ETC ECM is a 15 amp fuse right here. All right, that one's good. That was this one over here on the diagram. Oh wait, there's two of them. Um, ETC, ECM. And... Oh, one's ECM, one's TCM. So I checked the ECM one. Now we need the TCM one. All right, ECM, TCM. There's a 15 amp fuse right here. We have no power on this one. Oh, wait, we do on one side. Okay, we do have power on it. I wonder if I just push that in. I'm not sure. We'll check in a minute. All right, and then I need... All right, so let's see. This is pin one, and we need pin 20. Now it's pin 20 only with, uh, pin 20 should be constant power. So 17 is over there. Okay, good, so we need 17. 17, 18, 19, 20, so this is 20. Now let's just get a ground. So this is back to battery ground. I'm just gonna unscrew this guy over here. Only because I'm being lazy. And I have no power here. Hmm. Yeah, it's a red and white wire. Let's just make sure that's what it is over here. Pin 20. Red and white, battery positive voltage. Let me just check with the regular test light for a minute. All right, so it lights up with this.
but it can't light up this. So I think we found our issue. This can't carry current. Unless that connection at the test light's bad. Oh, that's my issue. All right, it could carry current, but the test light wasn't connected good. All right, so we have good power there. Now I know this is power, and it's a good power. So now I know this is a good power. Let's test the ground. Oops, sorry, dropped the connector. All right, this should be ground. And it's not. Let me just make sure I'm right. Connector 2, pin 73, black and white is a ground. And it looks like here we have no ground. Let me test with a test light. Alright, now it lights up with the ground. Let's go in here. And it doesn't light up. Alright, we're missing a ground to this computer. Awesome. Let me cover this. Well, let's find this ground. Let me get this inside. Let me work inside so that. Actually, should we just test our theory first? Should we just supply ground to that? I think so. Before I get all wet. We're going to supply ground to right here. There we go. I heard things happen. The throttle body moved. Turn it back on. And the car starts right up. We have a bad ground. Now we just gotta find this ground. All right, another bad ground on a Chevy. Shocking. Right, I'm gonna shut it off. We don't have, a ch the charging system's not working. I don't know why, maybe the ground also. We're gonna check that out. But uh, it could be because our charger's on. All right, so now let's go trace down this ground. Let me get inside, get my tools inside. Put the computer back. All right, so this thing grounds on G111. That's where it's missing. So I typed in G111, and it's number five. It's G111. It looks like it's near the, what is this, the thermostat housing? It's by the battery box. And we're gonna go look around there, see what we can find. Okay, so somewhere right around here should be a ground. Well, here's a ground. It looked higher up. Now let me get my charger off so I could see, take off this cover. Oh, there it is. I gave it a little tug down there. The both ground split off. Yep, right out of there. All right, so we're gonna have to fix this. I don't know if you can see down there. Let me get a flashlight, I'll show you. And then we'll fix this, put this back together. I'll put some clear nail polish on this and this car should be good to go. I mean, I have to diagnose the alternator maybe after, maybe we'll do that. Maybe she's an alternator, who knows? Or this ground will fix it. Alright, so I'm going to get some ring terminals to put on there, and then we'll unscrew that and put it back on. Alright, I don't know if you all to see before, but let me take the camera down there. Oh, 
those wires right there ripped off. They're supposed to be hooked to that ring. And they just came right off. So I'm gonna just wire on a new ring terminal, unscrew this, pop it back in, and I'll be sure we get to go. Yeah, right. Okay, that's on. Now, this should start up. If you have anything attached. All right, let's see. Car starts right up. All right, and alternate light went off. Awesome, engine light's still on, we'll have to clear that. All right, let's put the car back together. Just gonna go get some liquid nail polish for this. I keep calling it liquid nail polish. Oh, nail polish is liquid. I meant clear nail polish. Just used to saying liquid electric tape. Alright, they're gonna provide the rest. I don't know where the screws are for this. That's their job. I'm just gonna clear all the codes. And let's start the car. Alright. 14 volts. There's one code in the ACL. Yeah, what is that code? She's missing control module. And that's just saying it's lost communication with whatever. Okay. Perfect. Let's clear the DCs. Time, make sure nothing turns on. All the lights are off. Shifted. Alright, thanks for watching.